as probably all the reporters know from me not answering anybody's, so I hope you don't take it personally, is I'm staying in my lane and I'm trying to keep my head focused on the things that you heard us talk about today. Only on WDSU, the executive director of the French Market Corporation sits down with WDSU Investigates setting the record straight. And she's speaking for the first time about the controversy surrounding Mayor Cantrell's use of the Pantalba apartment. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian has the exclusive interview. Still in possession of the mayor. French Market Corporation Executive Director Leslie Alley speaking one-on-one -on -one with WDSU Investigates about the controversial Pontablo apartment. We don't have right of entry. So th this whole conversation about the keys, the French Market has one key. We have to get permission to go into that unit. Alley says repairs were done to the unit last year after a water main break. Six months ago, the council voted to put the apartment up for rent. This comes after there was major concern about the city-owned apartment and Mayor LaToya Cantrell's use of it. It shows up even around my apartment that I have a right to utilize. The OIG says if the apartment was put back into commerce, it could generate $36,000 a year. Do you feel that they've made it difficult to get this property on the books to be rented? I think it's a legal matter. There are two legal parties that disagree, parties that have different legal opinions. I'm not a lawyer. I'm the manager of the property. And I'm unfamiliar, though, with any lease law that gives the manager the permission to throw out the sole stockholder. At this point, I think it would, I'd much rather just put it out to rent. But, you know, nothing, nothing straightforward these days around here. I asked, why hasn't the French Market Corporation taken action? The problem really is, is there's no apples to apples comparison to look for a precedent. If you look to standard lease law, she doesn't have a lease. And the council believes that it's been perfecting the city code. And I believe their last action, they believe that they have. I have not been in the apartment since. And there's a deadline, I believe, a week away on that. So hopefully, well, I'll know more as we get closer to that deadline. The council says the issue is now between the mayor's office and the French Market Corporation. They've given the two entities a deadline of March 21st to come to a resolution. So the big question is, will the French Market kick out the mayor? That deadline also requires that I act in one way or another. I either have to inform the council that the mayor has moved out or we have to start eviction proceedings. And in that case, what we'll do is we'll call it an executive session because I don't, as you saw, I, I report to a board. It's a legal matter. We'll call an executive session. We'll discuss what's before us and then we'll take the appropriate action from there. But just because someone says I can do something doesn't mean I can do it. Aubrey Killian, WDSU Investigates. We reached out to the city for a response. We're still waiting to hear back. Make sure you still you're staying with WDSU for any updates on this developing story.